Global temperatures are rising. We're witnessing more severe and frequent storms, landslides, extreme heat waves, droughts and elevated sea levels. These hazards are already threatening global infrastructure and communities. Mitigating future climate change effects by reducing emissions is no longer sufficient. Business and society must adapt to the new risk reality, reducing vulnerability while building resilience. Science is showing that the climate is changing. Mitigation is no longer sufficient and we must adapt. Everyone has a responsibility in how to combat climate change and in how to adapt to climate change. I think business needs to take adaptation and resilience more serious than it does today. Taking a systems approach is essential. Businesses' resilience is interdependent with the resilience of the broader systems of which they're a part, including the supply chains, infrastructure and communities they rely on. Systems thinking is necessary to capture the full landscape of risks and solutions that businesses must weigh when making sound adaptation investments. We need people to realize that when you own a company, you ought to own it for the long term. I think you need all the stakeholders to deal with uh, the challenge of adaptation. Uh, of course, you need government policy, you need government support, but you need action at the local level. And I think businesses have to be an important part of the solution because after all, the impacts of climate change will not leave businesses alone. If you're a large multinational corporation, for example, you can multitask. You can think about you can think about mitigation of climate change, and you can think about adaptation, and you can think about lots of other things at once. You know, there isn't anyone on the planet whose responsibility is not this. DNVGL aims to help enable businesses to adapt to tomorrow's risks. We are developing a climate risk analysis and adaptation framework that will provide a basis for decision making. It's transparent, actionable and risk-based, so decision makers can clearly understand their vulnerability to climate change, what measures are needed to adapt and when those measures are needed. The business community has the responsibility to their own shareholders and customers to, to reduce their own risks and to adapt their own operations. It will take courageous leaders at the head of companies to take the first step whether the business case adds up or not, but just because we know it's the right thing to do. And that is risky, and that it takes courage, but we're in a situation that without taking some risk, and without courage, we're not gonna get where we need to be. We believe that business that can take a lead in adapting to climate change will have a huge competitive advantage.